everyone and welcome to Behind the Nail Pros for our January cover. For this month we had Yvette Holt come out here to do the nails for us. It was so exciting to have you. Welcome. Thank you. It was very exciting to be here. We've been talking about this forever and I'm so glad that it finally came to be. It was long overdue, partially my fault. <laughs> That's okay. You had mentioned that you really want to do sort of a practical nail. So often on our covers we do these really fantastical, very artistic, difficult nails, but I thought it was a great idea to do something that is a little bit more user friendly. So tell us a little bit about the design you came up with. Oh, well, we decided to go with a winter theme. So I went with creams and light blues and just a little bit of design on there to make it real simple but yet yeah, elegant. So how did you begin? Um, the model had very short nails, so we wanted to extend them a little bit. And how did you start? Um, I, I applied tips, and um, we used a soak-off gel um, on her natural nail first, um, because sometimes the models don't want to wear them afterwards, so it, it just makes getting them off a little bit easier. Um, then we applied the tip, and um, I applied um, a few coats of uh, traditional gel on there and um, then we applied gel polish a cream color I used a light blue color gel to create the tip and then we um, did some designing with a white striper paint I noticed that after you applied the gels you went in and filed not everybody does that how come you decided to well you're right, not everybody does file on gels, but I'm quite the perfectionist, so I like to go back in with um, a light file, like usually a 100 or a 180 file, and just um, make sure that the shape is what I want it to be. Mm -hmm. And I notice that you're really looking at the finger and holding them up to make sure that you have the right shape that you want. Is this a good method to do if you're in the salon? Yes, I usually raise the nail to about eye level and look at it from the side to see if the, the curve is in the right place. Make sure I look down the barrel of the nail to make sure that it's smooth and there's no big bumps or humps that I can see. And then um, you notice that I, since I went with a square shape, I like to make it an extreme square shape. So I held my file straight up to make sure that I got that real straight edge at the tip. Right, so that it didn't curve at all on the corners. Right. Once the nails were filed, you didn't apply a top coat or anything, you just went in with the gel polish. Correct. I love the gel polish because not only can you use it on natural nails or over the soak off gel, um, it's great for applying color to artificial nails. I went in with the cream colored gel polish and applied um, a coat and then I cured it one minute and then I applied a second coat to make the color richer. And it's great that you mentioned that because I think a lot of people don't realize, they think that gel polish is just, it's great over, you know, soak off gel for natural nails. But it's nice because you can use it really for anything. Right, right, absolutely. It makes um, even doing French's, pink and white nails, so simple because you can just use the white brush on soak off gel to put on the tips and it you don't have to hassle with any building. For the blue, you didn't use a gel polish, you used just a regular color gel. Correct. I used just a regular color gel and I applied um, a thin coat of the blue on the tip and then because I had the gel, the gel polish on the bottom, I was able to kind of swipe across it to create that um, sort of angular design of the light blue. Now if you made a mistake, say, with the blue and the line wasn't exactly how you wanted it, could you go in and fix it like you would sometimes with polish? No, you would want to make sure that it was the shape you wanted before you went in the light. So you can play with it until you go in the light and then it's hardened there. And it's no problem to work with these different mediums all within one nail. You have, you know, your hard gel and a colored gel and a gel polish and they all work together and will hold up together? Well you definitely want to make sure that you try something out on your person before you try it out on your customer. Generally the rule is if it's the same manufacturer you can usually get away with crossing over their products. Once the blue gel was cured then what did you do next? I went ahead and applied a thin layer of the top gel and I used the soak off top gel again just so it was a little bit easier for the model to remove that if she chose. And to get the little wisps you just used a regular striper brush. Yes, that it's, it's a nail lacquer and it just has a long brush in it so it's easy to do designs with it. And what kind of tips can you give people out there who want to try a design like this but have never done it before? Just practice a little bit. Um, I'm a great person at like I like to look at designs and go okay I can do that and then I'll attempt it you know putting it on a nail just to see what it looks like. You know sometimes the line 
smooths together and creates this great design and other times it's just not such a cute idea so <laughs> <laughs> so it's all about practicing yeah it's all about practicing these nails were beautiful and wintry but they weren't complete without a little extra bling that's right I applied just these little round um, silver balls to the ring finger and the thumb just to give it a little bit more of an accent and um, a lot of my clients really appreciate that, just a little hint of something, rather than having every nail covered with uh, accessories. So how did you attach the little balls to the nail? So uh, what I did is once the um, nail lacquer was dry, which it doesn't take very long when you put just a small amount on there, I applied a second coat of top gel, real thin, and I just laid the balls um, inside the wet top gel and then had her go into the gel light, and so it hardened around those. And those will stay for, if you we're doing this on a client it'll stay like that for a week longer yeah if you um, are concerned about them staying you may want to put a little bit thicker amount of top gel just where you want to place those accessories and, and inset them in let them harden mm -hmm. but usually they'll last about a week and a half well I think the nails turned out fantastic and what's more the model was like yes yeah, so I'm gonna keep these I yeah. want to wear them I think that's a real testament to the wearability of this and it's something that clients will like and it's easy to do in a salon yes I was very excited about doing that because when I look at nail pro magazines and I bring it into my salon obviously and so my clients glance at them they they go oh those are kind of crazy who would really wear that I mean they're impressed but that's what they say and I go well that's kind of the point of the cover and so I thought it was it would be really fun to be able to do something that maybe your client would go, oh, those nails, I like those. Yep, definitely. And I think that you've certainly achieved that, and I think it'll be great. Hopefully techs who keep their nail pros lying around will get a little extra income with the nail art that their clients request now. Exactly. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming in. I really appreciate it. I'm so glad we finally did this. The oh, nails so were fantastic. <laughs> it was super fun. Well, thanks again for inviting me. Absolutely. It was fun.